Hey there traders, it's Lotto Friday and we are about to make your day even more exciting because whether you're a loyal subscriber to this channel or you're new to this channel, you're in for a treat. I've handpicked a watch list that's full of profit opportunity, but here's the deal. In the world of trading, time is of the essence and Lotto Friday is all about seizing the moment. Now if you're a new trader or someone struggling to find their place in the market, you found the right spot and this is your chance to discover a strategy and stocks that could kickstart your trading journey. And by the end of this video, hopefully you'll be ready to make Lotto Friday your winning tradition. So don't miss out on this opportunity here and now to uncover those profit opportunities. Let's hopefully get your weekend started with a bang. Let's get started. This is the watch list for Friday, October 20th, a watch list that I put out for you guys for free every single day. The other thing that I have for free, my Discord. In the link, there's a link in the description below to join my Discord. It is absolutely free. There's a ton of chatter in there. I also have a private portion of that, but we're not going to push that at all. Let's get started on this list. The screen you see, that is TradingView. If you don't have TradingView, you want to try it, there's a link in the description below. That'll give you a free 30-day trial to their sub-based services and then up to $30 off if you decide to move ahead with it. But you need to start by clicking up and signing up with that link. Let's get started. We'll start with Apple. Hey, it, it was a crazy day today in general, especially on SPY. And we can talk about that at the end of the video. But Apple had a two-up. So a two candle when we're talking about this strategy and you notice the candlestick numbers, that's part of my indicator that I created. That link is in the description below. It has a two right here. So that two candle represents a directional candle. It only breaks the high or the low of the previous candle. In this case, on this candle, we only broke the high of this inside bar. So that tells me it's a two up. What's interesting about this though, is it's finished red. And what that tells me is the sellers took over. And anybody who watched the market today knows that the sellers took over today. So when that happens, that gives me a higher probability that we can look for puts on these trades come the following day, which is Friday, October 20th. Now, the other interesting thing we have here, we have what's called a shooter candle, where this big body at the bottom and it has this long wick at the top. It's what we call a shooter. It's an actionable signal when we're talking about this strategy, the strat. There are three actionable signals. There's the shooter, there's this inside bar, the, or the one bar that doesn't break the high or the low of the previous candle, and then a hammer candle, and it's exactly that. It's the opposite of a shooter. It looks like a hammer. The body's at the top and the wick is at the bottom. But we have a two up, finished red, high probability for this to trend to the downside when we open up on friday we're going to look for puts here with triggers at 175.19 that means we don't get into this thing unless we trigger unless we move through that yellow line to the downside that is our spot to get in that is how we know this setup goes into force and then we mark our target so you could potentially mark a target right here we can do that that's your first target and your second target is just the next low of the preceding wick. And that's how we mark the targets. It's the low of the preceding wick on the time frame that we set our trigger on. And so it doesn't have to be a daily chart. You guys can do the exact same thing on the 15 minute chart or the 30 minute chart. And if you watch my niche strategy, the SPY 155 strategy, there'll be videos at the end of this one for you to click on to watch. The SPY 155 strategy is something that I use and, and the people in the Discord use every single day. There's a room dedicated to the SPY 155. So we set triggers and targets on the 15. We manage on the 5. That's where the 155 comes from, 15 and 5. But this on the daily chart, you can do it the same way, okay? It's the same setups no matter what time frame you're on. We move on to QCOM. That's Q-C-O-M. QCOM has the exact same thing, this two up that finished red. So we're going to look for puts here at 110.84, first target 110.03. Next target just goes to the next preceding wick to the downside. That's it. That's how we mark our triggers and targets. I sent out a tweet earlier today saying how this is, this is organic trading. It's very organic. 
You don't see any RSIs, MACDs, uh, any clouds, any EMA crossings. All you see are the candlesticks, our triggers, and our targets. And this time frame continuity, also part of the indicator that I created for you guys. That's it. We don't see anything else. We do what the candlesticks tell us to do. So that's what we're going to do on QCOM. We're going to look for triggers to the downside. If you're looking for puts on this, your strike price is not 11084. You're not going to find a strike price for 11084. My strike price when I take this is going to be 110, 109. Maybe if there's a uh, 11050 in there, I might take that. But it's two strikes off of the trigger. That's how I do it. And then this will obviously be same day expiry because it is Friday. That's why they call it Lotto Friday, same day expiry on the contracts. Now, if we have moves to the upside, guys, I wouldn't say to the downside, but if there are moves to the upside, feel free to trade common shares. Um, it's a much easier way to learn this strategy than trading options if you're not familiar with options. So just something to be aware of. It's, it's okay to trade common shares until you get the hang of this strategy. And the great thing about this channel, guys, I have a hundred plus learning tools, a hundred plus videos of learning videos for you guys to learn this strategy and really um, get the grasp of it and get the hang of it. And if that's not enough, there's always the Griswold Gold membership, which is only $50 a month. You're going to pay for that membership in one single trade with the way we trade things. And it comes with a one hour course on this strategy, live trading bots, one on ones with me and a bunch of other really great items, including the indicator. OK, so that is the setup on AMD. We're going to move on to XEL. XEL, exact same thing. Two up, finished red. We have the shooter candle. We're going to look for puts here at 5901. And our two targets are marked out with those two green lines. On to INTC. INTC has a two up red as well. We look for puts here at 3552. And your two targets I've marked out for you already. The next low preceding wicks here and here. Um, one thing I can tell you that this inside bar here, when we have a one, two up and a two down reversal or vice versa, one, two down, and we're looking for a two up, we call it a one, two, two rev strat. And realistically, we're still looking for that two, two reversal, but in this strategy and, and the way we use this, it is called a rev strat, one, two, two rev strat. Uh, Micron Technologies, MU. So this has an inside bar, outside bar. So this is a 1-3 setup. So we talked about the inside bars, um, not breaking the high or the low of the previous candle. And the outside bars, the three bars, doing the exact opposite where we break both the high and the low of the previous candle. So 1-3 setup, or there's another guy by the name of Rich from Trading Wars calls this the Nirvana. So if we go back and look at the last time we had a 1-3 setup. They don't happen very often. Here it is. 1-3 back in July. We had this two-day run up. Okay, and we're only going to have one day to run this thing up really, but that's exactly what happened. We triggered and what happens? High of the next preceding wick, we hit targets. Okay, candle did exactly, the candlesticks did exactly what they said they were going to do. They gave you the story and that story got fulfilled. It did exactly what it said it was going to do. Very organic, okay? Don't need much more than what we're teaching you here. Oracle, same thing. Two up, finished red, shooter candle, that actionable signal. So we're going to look for puts here again at 108.19. And I've marked out again the two targets for you guys. So that's the great thing about these videos, guys. You can go out and look for your own setups, but I'm handpicking these for you. I'm laying them out for you guys. You don't even have to do the work. You just have to learn the strategy, okay? Microsoft, same exact thing. Two up, finished red, shooter candle. Actionable signal, shooter candles. We're looking for puts here at 330.91. I've marked the target out for you at 328.29. We look at Roku. Roku with the inside bar. So we haven't talked about these yet in any... Um, in any depth, but an inside bar like we talked about doesn't break the high or the low, but you see it's painted yellow. That's part of my indicator, okay? So you can spot these things easily. And I always tell people if you're struggling with trading or you're new to trading, inside bars are what I would concentrate on. So 
inside bars are the yellow bars when you see them i want you to think of a spring being squished compacted and loaded and when you remove that load off of that spring you expect to jump in one direction or the other and if you just have to go back and look in time and you can look on any on any indicator on any um ticker on any time frame and you're going to see the probability the majority of the time we get the same thing we get these big runs where we hit triggers and then we hit targets on the way up just like we did on this inside bar where we triggered and we hit targets on the way up and this double inside bar where we triggered and hit targets on the way up and this inside bar okay we triggered ran down and came back we didn't hit targets and we don't always hit targets, so it's okay to take profit, but that's a probability. So they don't, they don't always work out, but the probability of them working out is very, very high. And when you learn, ladies and gentlemen, that trading is a game of probability. It's a business of probability. I don't even want to say game. It's a business. Trading is a business and you should treat it as such, but it's a business of probability. And when you realize that those losses as long as they're small and you're following the rules, those losses become um, a lot less painful, let's say. Because, again, we go to the inside bar. Probability-wise tells us if we trigger, we should hit targets. We did it for three straight days. Inside bar, triggered, hit targets after the second day. Inside bar, triggered, hit target. Okay, Inside bar, broke to the downside first failed trade okay didn't work this one triggered hit targets we triggered here hit targets okay there's our target right there there's our target right here inside bar triggered hit targets on the way up I, it doesn't get any simpler than this and this is the reason why i tell new traders or struggling traders to really really concentrate on those inside bars if you're struggling with everything else pick one thing pick the one bar pick the inside bar focus on it, learn it, and then move on to something else. When we're learning, um, when we're learning something we, we, and you focus on that one thing, you're more likely to learn that than if you're, you're scattered learning, learning this and this and this and this and this. When we do math, we, in school, we focus on one thing. So when we're children, we focus on addition and then we focus on subtraction and then we focus on multiplication and so on and so forth. Your, your teachers aren't there showing you or your kids everything all at once because they would get confused. It's confusing. Focus on one thing. Let's move on to shop, Shopify. Um, so there's no real setup here except for this inside bar setup that we had on the week prior. So I just wanted to show this to you and we'll, this will be a good segue into a trade I took today but we broke the high side of the weekly okay we went two up and then we started to come back down well, we're past that 50 percent marker so of, of the, the 50 percent marker of the previous week sorry well, i have a video explaining what that 50 percent rule is but we are very close to going outside bar breaking the bottom side of last week's um last week's setup and so I would look if we trigger to the downside when Friday opens on Shopify for us to go outside bar. The other thing that helps with that is this time frame continuity. A lot of stuff here pointing to the downside. All these red arrows are saying we're two down or we're red on, on the day. We're red on the week. We're red on the month. We're red on the quarterly. That's what that's telling us. So I wanted to put this in here for you to say, yes, we are very close to going outside bar on the week and it's I'm glad I actually put this on here because SPY, what we're going to talk about, went outside bar on the week. So Wells Fargo, um, one more again, the outside bar. So I wouldn't play this to the upside. You can. You can put your trigger at there up at the top as well. But we have an outside bar that is a shooter candle. So we're looking at an actionable signal to the downside. So we just mark our trigger at the bottom of that candle. 4116 would be our trigger. First target, 4047. Now, let's go discuss SPY here real quick. So someone in the room actually, and we talked about this, I believe, yesterday, uh, about SPY going outside bar on the week. So there you see the outside bar on the week. We broke the high, and then we've come all the way down, and we broke the low. That's an outside bar, a three bar. Breaks both the high and the low. So 
I had mentioned in our room that the the only way I thought that Spy was going to go outside bar was if we were two down red on Thursday, which was today. And then I thought we had a shot. I didn't think we were going to hit outside bar today, but I put my money where my mouth is. And, and when we went two down red on the day, I took that opportunity to say, yeah, I will take some puts on spy. And I, I didn't, I usually get same day expiry. I got the Friday expiry. Okay. I got two days out and that's okay. You don't have to take same day. You can get a week out if you want. You can get two weeks out if you want. I took Friday as the expiry. I did 75% on that trade following the 50% rule. And I know it kind of coincided the, the, the rug pull on spy today coincided with uh, the spy 155 strategy. So you would have also made money there if you were following along in the discord. But that that's kind of what we were talking about on Shopify and what we're looking for tomorrow on there. And that's I'm glad I had that play on here. I'm glad we could segue into SPY. Now, the other thing I will show you guys that's coming up, we look at that monthly. What are we What are we talking about here on the monthly? Because we are already two down on the month and then we came all the way back up and now we reverse. So it'll be, I'll be curious to see if we continue to trend down in October. Typically SPY has really, really great October, November, Decembers. We'll see if that continues or if we're going to trend down. And then again, we can go look at that three month and it's looking the exact same because that start of the quarterly was in October. So it'd be interesting to see how SPY plays out. I really love SPY. I love the 155. I love all the subs that I've got. I love all the new people that we have. Thank you guys for joining. I wish you nothing but the best on Lotto Friday. I'm on Twitter at Mr. Clark Griswold. You can get a hold of me there. Make sure you thumbs up, comment down below if you have questions and get in on that Discord with the link. And we will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.